Thank you, Alaska and Corla. Um, the uh, conclusion of the Spirit Tribunal uh, that un unidentified members of Angola Shikana colluded with the provisional IRA in the murder of RUC officers Harry Breen and Superintendent Bob Buchanan is truly shocking and sickening. It represents a terrible betrayal of the thousands of members of Angola Shikana uh, who down through the years made many, many sacrifices uh, to protect the citizens of this island, north and south, and who worked extremely hard against the actions of the provisional IRA and other terrorist groups. It betrays that sacrifice in a profound and disgusting um, way. I want to welcome Tarnish to the apology issued by you on behalf of all of us and on behalf of the state, and indeed issued by the Minister uh, for Justice, Alan um, Shatter. Officers Buchanan and Breen uh, were carrying out their professional duties uh, to protect the citizens of this state in cooperation with Ongorda Shikona. And they were gunned down savagely in the course of doing um, their duty. And those who gunned them down uh, should have been brought to justice and should be brought to justice. And the report should be sent to the DPP and every uh, um, opportunity our prospect of further cr criminal investigation um, should be examined. And those in possession of vital information, uh, I would put it to you, Tarnister, should provide that information, because it's clear that it wasn't fully provided to the uh, tribunal judge. Statements were issued or sent by the IRA to the tribunal. Um, but, and I, I would invite people and members of the House to read that statement. It provides a very chilling account of the cold and callous manner in which uh, the murders um, took place. But clearly, um, information that could have been provided by people in the provisional movement was not provided by people in the provisional movement. I think the publication of the report vindicates the establishment of the inquiry in the first instance, but also perhaps highlights now the need for the other aspects and dimensions of the Western Park Agreement, particularly the inquiry into Finucane, uh, Hamill and Nelson and others. And Dublin Monaghan bombing should now be pursued vigorously by our government with the British government because ultimately the truth wins out and this conclusion uh, is important for the families and for the overall situation in terms of our examination uh, of, of the difficulties in this island. I also want Thank to ask you, you Tarnish, if you will facilitate a full debate in this House on the tribunal report. A debate, Tarnish, that might avoid the incredible kind of statements that we've witnessed already this morning. Uh, on news talk uh, from the leader of the Sinn Féin party, for example, um, who incredibly said that the two officers, officers displayed a laissez-faire disregard for their own security. And I just want to quote what was said, if I may, uh, Tanishta. So when you have that type of laissez-faire disregard for their own security by both on Garda Shikana in relation to these two RUC officers, and more importantly by the RUC officers themselves, here they were in the heart of South Armagh, in the middle of a very, very severe conflict at that time, and seemed to think that they were immune to attack by the IRA. And tragically, as it turned out, for them, that wasn't the case." Unquote. Thank you, now, that's the leader of Sinn Féin's contribution to this debate. I think it's insulting uh, to the families concerned. It should be withdrawn. Uh, and I think it also essentially almost blames, by implication, by the officers themselves. I mean, we should be very clear in this House, this was premeditated murder carried out by so-called Republicans, people supported by the Sinn Féin leader and others, uh, and who continue to refuse to accept the reality that it was a premeditated murder. Um, and you know, I think, from our perspective, Jerry, De Deputy Adams should apologise to the families uh, on behalf of, of that so-called Republican mo movement, because I think this kind of language and Sinn Féin speak that we're now becoming accustomed to, in my view, uh, represents their ongoing widgery approach to whitewashing their past atrocities. And, and we need a full debate here in the House Tarnish, yeah. to hammer these points home in an unequivocal manner. Tarnish, yeah. The last Concorda, the central grave finding of the Smithic Tribunal report is that there was collusion within Angarda Chiacona and the IRA 
in the murders of Chief Superintendent Harry Breen and Superintendent Robert Buchanan. I am appalled and saddened by this finding, as I know all in this House will be. The Government apologised immediately on publication of Joseph Smithick's report. However, I wish to place that apology on the record of this House. On behalf of the Government and the people of Ireland, I apologise without reservation to the Breen and Buchanan families for any failings identified in the report on the part of the State or any of its agencies. I am truly sorry for the loss and suffering that both families have endured. I want to acknowledge the dignified manner in which the Breen and Buchanan families have responded to publication of the report, and I wish to join them in thanking Judge Peter Smithick for producing such an open, honest and comprehensive report. Out of respect for the families, we should recall the human dimension of this atrocity. Judge Peter Corey, in his report in 2003, described Chief Superintendent Harry Breen and Superintendent Bob Buchanan as two outstanding RUC officers. Chief Superintendent Breen was a deeply caring family man devoted to his wife June and their two children, Gillian and David. Superintendent Buchanan was known as a man of absolute integrity and as a proud, dedicated and able police officer and loving husband of Catherine and caring father of their two children, Heather and William. When they were murdered by the IRA on the Edenapa Road near Jonesboro on the 20th of March 1989, June and Catherine were each deprived of a loving husband and partner. Gillian, David, Heather and William each lost their father and nothing can undo that. Over 3,500 men, women and children died during the Troubles. There is no hierarchy of suffering or grief. But where allegations of collusion by agents of the state were concerned, we have long agreed that the state bears a particular and solemn responsibility. I have said previously that I don't believe we can address the past constructively unless we are each prepared to ask questions of ourselves and of our own role, and I believe we have done that today. I know that members of Angarda Siakona will view actions as documented in the report as a betrayal of the values that they uphold and of the very ethos of the Garda Siakona as the guardians of the peace. They will be thinking today of the sacrifices that they and their predecessors made in performing their duty during the Troubles. I think today of the Gardaí who gave their lives, the Gardaí who were injured, the Gardaí who put themselves at risk in doing their duty on behalf of the people during the Troubles. The depth and the quality of cross-border cooperation today between the PSNI and the Guard the Siakona is second to none and I wish to give both forces credit for that. My colleague, the Minister for Justice and Equality, Alan Shatter, will be meeting with his counterpart in the Northern Executive, David Ford, along with the Chief Constable of the PSNI, Matt Baggett, and the Garda Commissioner, Martin Callanan, uh, shortly to discuss the report. This House, the Oireachtas, has been consistent and unflinching in its demand for and pursuit of the truth in relation to the allegations of collusion identified by the British and Irish governments at Weston Park in 2001. The Irish and British governments then accepted that certain cases from the past gave rise to serious allegations of collusion by the security forces in each of our jurisdictions and remained a source of grave public concern. The governments are committed to undertake a thorough investigation of allegations of collusion in the cases of the murders of Chief Superintendent Harry Breen and Superintendent Bob Buchanan, Pat Finucane, Lord Justice and Lady Gibson, Robert Hamill, Rosemary Nelson and Billy Wright. Arising from the Western Park Agreement, Mr Peter Corey, an eminent retired Canadian Supreme Court judge, was asked by the two governments to investigate and report on the allegations of conclusion. In line with Judge Corey's recommendations to the Irish Government, a tribunal of inquiry was established by the Houses of the Oireachtas in 2005 into the murders of Chief Superintendent Harry Breen and Superintendent Bob Buchanan. That independent tribunal of inquiry has now concluded its work and Judge Peter Smithick has submitted his report to this House. Whilst Judge Smithick does not find direct evidence of collusion in the killings, he concludes 
on the balance of probabilities that conclusion did occur involving an unidentified member or members of Angarda Siakona. I wish again to thank Judge Smithick uh, for his work. This is a report uh, to the House, and yes, I do agree that we should find and make time uh, available to have the report discussed here uh, in the House, uh, and I will ask the Government Chief Whip to make the necessary arrangements with the whips of the Opposition Party. Mark Thornship, supplementary question from Deputy Mayor Mark. I want to thank the Minister for his very comprehensive response, and I would agree with, entirely with the sentiments articulated in that statement. Uh, and I thank him for his reply and the clarity of it. In relation to the vindication and the, the uh, origins of the establishment of the Smithic Inquiry, which has proved, I think, uh, to be effective and has come to a conclusion that, as I have said, is, is both shocking, sickening and a betrayal uh, of the many, many members of the Garda Shikona who made such sacrifices uh, in the fight uh, against terrorism and, and the IRA. But I think it also illustrates the value of the conclusions of the Western Park Agreement and the value of such inquiries, long as they may be, uh, difficult as they may be, uh, but in uh, shining a light on um, uh, uh, appalling atrocities such as this. And that is why I think it's equally important um, that the other aspects of Western Park, particularly the Finucane case, is uh, addressed in the same comprehensive manner uh, as the um, Semitic Tribunal uh, was. In other words, a tribunal or a, an investigation comparable to the terms uh, of, of reference of the Semitic Tribunal is warranted uh, for those other allegations of collusion. Uh, and there has been some uh, significant forestalling on that on behalf of the British government, which I think we should, given the clarity of the conclusions here, at the importance of the conclusion, it, it, does under, it does clearly underline the importance of exercises such as this uh, in, in, in going further uh, than, we, than official investigations did in terms of bringing the truth um, to people. I think that's extremely important. Thank you. Dr. I welcome the, your commitment to a debate because I do genuinely think it's extremely important uh, that we avoid all sorts of language that endeavours to um, throw mud in, in the way of clarity in terms of what actually happened here. Um, it was a cold-blooded, premeditated murder, which struck at the heart of uh, those who were upholding the security of our citizens north and south. That's, in essence, what we're looking at here. The fact that there was collusion involved is doubly, doubly shocking, I think, to many citizens across the state and to the vast, vast majority, of course, of the members of Angarda Shikona. Um, well, first of all, I, I do um, acknowledge uh, and agree uh, about the importance of the Western Park uh, Agreement. Uh, the Western Park Agreement 2001 uh, identified a number of cases uh, where there was serious concern, where there were serious uh, allegations of collusion by uh, agents of the state, by security forces in both um, jurisdictions. And um, uh, it clearly determined that those cases had to be uh, examined. Uh, the particular case that we had to examine in this jurisdiction uh, was the murder of Chief Superintendent Breen and Superintendent uh, Buchanan, and that's why the Smithy Tribunal was established by the House. There was a decision of the House to, to establish that in, uh, in 2005. Uh, it has taken a long time, and again, I want to thank uh, Judge Smithy for the work that he has done uh, in relation to it. But I think it also does show that we need to see completion of all of the uh, work that was committed to uh, at Western Park. Um, I have already uh, communicated previously uh, to my counterpart in the uh, UK administration uh, the wish of the government, and not just the government, but the wish unanimously uh, of this House to see an inquiry uh, into the Pat Finucan uh, case. Uh, I've met with uh, Geraldine Finucane, her family, and discussed that uh, issue with her, and we will continue uh, to pursue uh, the uh, Finucane case. I think the fact uh, that the Smithic Tribunal has now concluded will, if anything, I think, strengthen uh, our position uh, in relation to that. There is, of course, then the wider issue of dealing with the, with the past, uh, and again, in res respect of that, uh, the government supports uh, the all-party discussions, cross-party discussions, which are established in Northern Ireland, being chaired by Dr. Richard Haas. Uh, Dr. Haas has stated his intention to complete his work by the, by the end of the year. Uh, I will be meeting with him next week, 
uh, and will be discussing the, the progress that he has made uh, to date, and no doubt I will be discussing with him uh, the outcome of uh, the Smithwick, uh, Smithwick report. And probably by then, depending on when we make the arrangements for uh, the debate in the House, I may well have the benefit of the discussion in the, in the House to inform my discussions with Dr Haas. Mark